Hey guys, Lance Archer here, welcome back to the channel. It's Friday, it's a new reset time. So later than last week, as I mentioned before, so the new reset time is obviously now and it's 5 p.m. here in the UK. So that means Zer should be here in the world with us. So let's just see where he was or is going to be. Let's have a look on Titan. Hopefully the world should uh, reset quickly enough. What did I go to the tower for? What the heck? Nowhere there. Io. Not yet. Earth. He was on Earth last week. He was at the Winding Cove last week. So. Why is he not. Wait. Could he go to Mercury now? Oh, Charles on a nine. Okay. There we go. So that must mean things started up again. And he's back at the Winding Cove. Alright, let's uh, go see what he's got for sale this week. So, just a heads up. Next. Um, Friday is when he drops the new fated engram, which obviously he will he will sell once a week, and it will be the I think it's whatever the equivalent to your light level is at, at that point. So it's I think it's uh, seventy five strange not strange words seventy five um, legendary marks for that particular engram, and then obviously next week is when he starts to sell. The, or he starts the sell of the three of coins which like I mentioned last week I still don't understand why it's back but so with Curse of Osiris having been dropped this week my thoughts on it are that it's an okay DLC so far the grind is nice again to have something to do I already have um, one of the weapons from it so I've got this the Garden Progeny which is the scout rifle from the very first ver uh, verse that you'll be getting Alright, this dude got there quick. Arkham 470. Um, so, what the heck? Get rid of you guys. Um, so, that's the one from the first one. I think the verses on sale this week, not on sale, the verses that Brother Vance is doing this week is the um, verse 1, verse 3, and I think verse 5? But each of them require a lot of farming of materials. So you have to go do the raid, not the raid, the uh, public events. Grab certain materials. And hopefully convert them over to what you need. Alright, what have we got for sale this week? Oh, let's see, that dude's got one as well. I am an agent of the night. Okay. Oh, oh, he's got the new... Oh my god, it's on sale. It's actually on sale. The, game, the gun that was considered OP is on sale. Along with a pair of new boots I've never seen before. Alright, so we have right the Dragon Shadow. That three, oh, it's dropping at 3 or 5. I think it's because of my light level. Alright, so this is the Dragon Shadow armor for the Hunter. Um, you know, I might speed up. On exchange. That's 3 or 5. That's 3 or 5 as well. Um, so this is obviously the Hunter armor that gives you increased movement speed, weapon handling, and for a short time after dodging. Class abilities recharge faster when used at a void subclass. Stacks up to 3 times. So that's that one. Uh, next we have the Nazarek, Nazarek Sins, which is the uh, Warlock Helm. Uh, Abyssal Extractors, Void Damage Kills, Increased Agility, Energy Recharge Rate, and whip, uh, Energy Weapon Handling is improved. Now this, the Prometheus Lens, is the gun which has been causing a lot of hoo-ha this week with um, a lot of players on PC. This is mainly a PC thing, not really a con uh, console thing. So I this is the new Exotic fly. Trace Rifle. Very similar to that of the Cold Heart. Now the problem is with this gun is that currently this gun absolutely destroys people on the PC. I'm not sure why it's destroying people on the PC, but let's see what the gun has. It's got a prismatic inferno, fires a solar trace beam and generates damage heat field that grows while firing while the weapon continues to fire. So essentially if you lock onto the opponent and you shoot, it causes I think like the it does like damage over time on the person. I think is how it works. Well I've seen people use it in in the game and apparently this thing is just ridiculous. Uh, chambered compensator, projection issue, increased range, flame refraction, kills with this weapon, return a fraction of the ammo used to the magazine, extended beams duration, and obviously combos to stop. Now this gun, I'm not sure what was this. This is a oh my god, these are bad. The M the Mark 44 standard size for the Titans grants an overshield when sprinting at full health with seismic strike, hammer strike, or shield bash equipped. Hits with these abilities to charge a portion of your melee energy. Increase armor uh, mobility following the faster movement. So let me just grab this. Okay, so these are all there. So right now, for Zer, this week, 
for the uh, for the Curse of Osiris DLC, grab this gun right now is what I'm going to tell everyone. Grab the Prometheus Lens. It is the most OP gun in the game right now before they nerf it. So with it being on sale, that means they've just essentially balanced out everything that could possibly go wrong in the game. Which is great, because obviously if some people have it and it's you know unfair that some people are killing because of it, this, what they've done here, essentially just balanced everything out. It's like when they did it with the Merciless when like Zer first dropped. Like the Merciless dropped and there were some people who didn't have it and now it's just become that gun that everyone has. So yeah, this is um this is quite interesting that they dropped it down considering how this, how it's been destroying everyone this week. Uh, obviously we got the Mark 14s which are back from uh, Mark 14, so I beg your pardon, the Mark 44 standard sides which are back from Destiny 1. So it's got nice at the back that they're bringing all of them back. So yeah, if you're Titan, pick them up. Like pick all of these up if you haven't got them already, especially if they're dropping at three or five. This is current, concurrent to my light level. So my light level is only at 318 right now. I know there are some people who have already hit 335 and they've done it like furiously quick, which is good for them. Um, but yeah, right now, pick these up that you don't have. Definitely, definitely pick this up just for the hell of it. And just because you want to test this out in PV, P was where it's destroying everyone currently right now. Um, but this is Zer for this week. So remember, next week is when we get the Fated Engrams with the return of the uh, Three of Coins. He is back once again on the Winding Cove like he was last week. So that's it for Zer. So hope everyone has enjoyed the Curse of Osiris DLC so far. I have enjoyed it. I've enjoyed the the little story that they did with it. Um, I liked the way it was going, but I felt like there was something more that they could have done. Like there is like they, they needed something more to do with it um obviously there's that second part of the raid which is i forgot what it's called but i think it's um i don't even call it the gilded gilded raid uh, this that there's another raid aspect on the leviathan which is kicking off i think it's this week or maybe it starts next week but over the next coming weeks destiny will be or bungie will be essentially dropping down updates to help increase the game's longevity remember in january they're looking to bring in ranked matches, which to be fair, Crucible kind of needed that. They've had uh, ranked matches before in previous games that they've done, notably Halo, but it kind of needed it for this. So I'm kind of glad that they're bringing it in. So that's it for this week. I'm just going to leave it here and hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, don't forget to thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel, share with your friends, leave a comment if you feel the need to for me to improve on stuff. Um, criticisms always appreciated it allows me to improve and change things up if need be um i am streaming on twitch as well so if you want to follow me there it's twitch.tv forward slash lancelot archer it will be in my end credit that you will see pop up after the video and uh, yeah follow me on twitter as well at sure archer for all my updates and so forth for when i go live on twitter uh, on twitter and on twitter when i go live on twitch and when i post stuff on twitter as well and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys enjoy your weekend take care and i'll see you all soon have a great one see you later